Hey there, it's Amber from youneedanamber.com and I am so glad you're here today. Would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button real fast before I get into the video? I never want you to miss a video that I make on the channel, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Today on the channel, I want to expand on a video I made a couple weeks ago about wowing your clients. So in the last video I made, I talked about how you can wow your client for free. Yeah, like really for free. I gave tons of examples of little things that you can do to really show love and appreciation to your clients. But if you are looking to just like step it up a level or if your clients have, you know, like paid a little bit of money to invest with you, then you really should invest a little bit back in them by giving them an amazing gift that does cost a little bit of money. Doing something like this goes so, so far with your clients. It doesn't have to be tons and tons of money, but it should um, be equivalent to what they spent. So for example, if they just spent $3,000 on you, you can spend 50 or $100 in giving them a little gift. It's totally worth it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you eight examples of some client gifts that you can give that will be sure to wow anyone who walks through your door. The first gift that you can give your client, of course, is swag. People love swag. Look at this amazing water bottle that I got from Asana. Um, I'm an Asana certified pro and I have this water bottle and I love it. I keep it right on my desk. And now anyone who walks into my office can see that I have an Asana water bottle and they love it, love it. On the other side of the swag idea, if you are like a graphic designer or a logo maker or a website designer, get your client some swag that has their logo on it, right? So if someone made You Need an Amber's logo, wouldn't it be so great if they sent me a gift that had my logo on it? I would love that. The next gift that you can always give is a book. Try to think of something that um, would be really helpful to something that they are going through or a creative process that they're having. So I have The Crossroads of Should and Must, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, The Artist's Way. These are just a couple of books that I have and love and your client would love to receive a book like that too. My most favorite thing ever to receive in the mail is a box. Okay, look at this. I signed up for Summit in a Box, so I now am going through this course, and they mailed me this box. Can you believe, like, this is a hefty box. I haven't opened it yet because I've been like wanting to open it with you, so it's been sitting on my desk forever. But look at how beautiful this is. Summit in a box, it's well branded. It has a little note, which is so nice. And then all of these goodies. So again, I'm gonna, I've been waiting to open it, but I can see that there's stickers, there's some post-it notes, here's a pen. It looks like here's a water bottle back here that's probably gonna be similar to my Asana water bottle. But they sent me this box in the mail. And let's be honest, I did spend a pretty, a pretty penny with them. And look what they've given me in return. I am so excited to open this box to show everyone here at my co-working space because they sent me something. Something really, really simple to always give a client is a plant. I brought this plant from home, but, and it's a little bit sad, but if you give your client a plant, then they can put it in their office and they will always think of you. And when people comment on the plant, guess what they're gonna say? Oh, I got that from You Need an Amber. What, who, who's You Need an Amber? And then the conversation starts, right? But you are facilitating that conversation uh, without even knowing it. So if you give your client a gift and they put it in their office, people are gonna talk about it and your name is going to come up. Okay, a way to get really, really personal is to give the gift of thoughtfulness. So what do I mean by this? Go to a local store and buy a pack of greeting cards, birthday cards, get well cards, thinking of you, whatever, and keep them on your desk. This is what I do and it works every time. Anytime I see that someone has a birthday coming up or they tell me that they're expecting a child or it's their anniversary or it's their work anniversary with me, 
I have a pile of cards on hand that I can immediately send out. I don't have to go to the store. I don't have to think about it. I already have the cards on hand and I can send the gift of thoughtfulness immediately. Another way that you can show your clients love and appreciation is by having a party for them. Now, I feel like this happens a lot in like the, um, like in the mortgage world or the realtor world or something like that. But I had, um, I have a friend and she is a financial advisor and she and her partner always throw a client appreciation party around Thanksgiving and they give a pie to everyone, everyone on their client list, not just if you attended everyone on their client list, they give out a pie at Thanksgiving. So what they do is they have a party and then you can come and be appreciated and fed and you leave with a pie. But all of the people that don't attend, they drive over to their house and deliver a pie. That is such an effort and it's so thoughtful and people love it and people start to look forward to it. So her financial, financial management clients that she has had for years, they look forward to that pie every year because it's something consistent, it's something that's thoughtful, and it's something very useful that the family is going to use. Amazing idea. The last two gift ideas I want to talk about revolve around staying local. I am a big supporter of shopping local and only, not only, but like really, really trying to support my local economy and my local small businesses. So the last two ideas that I have for you are very uh, centered around all of your local shops and restaurants. The first idea that I have around shopping local is to give a restaurant gift card to a local restaurant. This could be a coffee shop, this could be um, like a sit down restaurant, it could be anything, but giving your client the gift of shopping local not only pr provides for them, takes care of them, buys them dinner, but also supports your local economy and your local small business friends, which you just can't beat. The other way that I wanna talk about to shop local and the final idea I have for this list is to gift them some food that is already prepared from a local shop. So for example, you could provide um, a dozen cookies from a local shop. You could provide local flowers, right? American grown or local to your country. Um, grown in your neighborhood from a local flower farmer, and you could gift those to your client. You're shopping local, you're staying local, you're supporting a small business, and everything stays really, really close to home. I hope that these ideas were really helpful. You know, it doesn't matter what you do to, to show your client love, right? You mail them a book, you send them a plant. I don't really have any more hands to show you all the things. Um, you know, you send them some swag, where's the logo? Send them some swag with your logo, with their logo, or go above and beyond and send a box. I mean, come on, come on. You just, you just can't beat it. I really hope that you do something, whether it is from this video that shows your client a little extra love, or go back and watch that other video about wowing your clients for free. No matter the path you take, your client is going to feel loved and appreciated and welcomed and well taken care of. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I hope that this video was super helpful for you. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.